Good afternoon. You can do better than that. This is Allen University. Good afternoon. On behalf of our president, Dr. Ernest McNeely, we would like to welcome you to the campus of Allen University. Certainly, we would like to recognize the presence of our esteemed chairman of the board, Bishop Samuel L. Green, Sr., members of the board of trustees, the presiding elders of the AME Church. Today is a historical day. A historical day that we are glad to share with you. We are excited about the ec academic partnership with Richland II School District. This partnership symbolizing what can happen for the greater good when we come together as one. Let me talk to you briefly about Allen University. Even in the midst of an international pandemic, Allen University continued to thrive. We had record numbers in fundraising. We never stopped construction on our $11 million Waverly, Good Samaritan Waverly project. We dramatically, dramatically upgraded our technology and online learning platform. And something we were most proud of, we were able to maintain all of our employees during these difficult times. These things were made possible through intensive, intentional planning that allowed us to create strategic partnerships like the one we're announcing today. At this time, I would like to acknowledge special individuals who have taken time out of their busy schedule to be with us today. First and foremost, I would like to recognize the First Lady of Allen University, Dr. Ernestine McNeely. Any elected public officials, please raise your hand. Thank you. Our strategic partners, and I would like to recognize specifically Mr. Walla Gazer and the Palmetto Citizen Federal Credit Union. Please stand. They have been a strong supporter of all of our initiatives, and we have some more news to announce real soon. Members of the Richton II Board of Education. Members of the Richton II Administrative of Staff, staff or team. Thank you. Members of the Allen University Education Foundation. Thank you. All, educati all educational leaders throughout the Midlands. Alumni of Allen. Faculty, staff, students. And last but not least, the executive cabinet of Allen University. Please stand. Thank you for joining us here today, and we're excited about this partnership. Thank you. Now we will welcome a message from Ms. Talia Moore, a freshman biology major and Richland II graduate. Good afternoon. My name is Talia Moore, and I graduated from Blythewood High School at the age of 16. 
I was very lucky to graduate from the school in the Midlands because some of the best schools in South Carolina are in that area. I consider those schools to be some of the best because of the endless number of opportunities that I had available to me. There were all sorts of clubs, internships, and even job opportunities that you could pursue. I am currently a second semester freshman here at Allen University pursuing my major in biology with the hopes of applying to medical school to work towards being a psychiatrist. STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, is very important to me because we use all four components in our everyday life. Science is your body, technology is your phone that you use for business calls or your computer that you may use for work, engineering is your transportation, and almost everything you do requires some sort of math. I think that if students use this opportunity to enhance their knowledge in these fields, that they will open a new window for themselves and that they will now qualify for more job internships and even apply their newfound knowledge in their everyday life. Thank you. We will now take a moment to look forward with Dr. Tisa Brunson, Associate Vice President for Institutional Advancement. Good afternoon. We are extremely excited about this new endeavor. As we look forward to this partnership between Allen University and Richland School District 2, we hope to continue touching the lives of students such as Talia Moore through mentoring and tutoring programs. Ms. Moore, who is a graduate of Blackwood High School in Richland 2, is currently an honor student at the university. She is a testament to all that can be imagined being achieved with the collaboration between Richland II and Allen University. I have personally witnessed and participated in some of the exceptional programs Richland II have in place, such as the Girls with Pearls Conference, where young ladies were able to chat about life experiences with professional women from various employment sectors. The Girls with Pearls Conference affirms my philosophy of the importance of uplifting and empowering young ladies. At Allen, we look forward to continuing mentoring programs such as Girls with Pearls as well as others. Our goal is to motivate, empower, and encourage students through this historic partnership. As a symbol of the seeds we are dedicated to sowing for Richland II schools. At this time, I would like to present Ms. Moore with a small gift in hopes that it will help her on her journey at Allen University. Ms. Moore, please come forward, please. We hope this will help you on your journey at the university as you continue achieving all that can be imagined. Since becoming superintendent of Richland School District 2 in 2017, Dr. Barron R. Davis has been on a mission to dismantle systems of inequity and inequality in public education. Believing inequities lead to outcomes that do not accurately reflect students' abilities and potential, he is making strides to close the equity, inclusion, and knowledge gap and is demonstrating courageous leadership in addressing social justice issues in education. He has recently been recognized on a national level for his accomplishments as superintendent, receiving the 2021 F.E.H. Jones Humanitarian Award. Please welcome Dr. Baron R. Davis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. It's always a privilege and an honor to stand before such an illustrious crowd as yourself and bring remarks on behalf of my district. And I'm so enthusiastic when I get an opportunity to sit by one of our former students not just a former student, but a former honor student who graduated from high school at 16 years old. 
and has decided to grace her gifts and talents right here in our very own hometown of Columbia and enrolled at Allen University. So I'm so proud and excited to just sit next to her and recognize her for her accomplishments. I believe in paying homage to the children. We often ask the question in Richland School District 2, how are the children? And of course, the appropriate response to that is that all the children are well. And so when I see the fruits of our, our work and our labor as a community to produce a well child, I'm always excited about that and always want to give them their due respect because the work that we do is always centered around the children that we serve because they are the lifelines to our community. So please, um, I apologize for um, going off script a little bit, but I wasn't expecting to see one of our students here. And so I wanted to give an opportunity to just say uh, or tell her how proud we are, are of her in Richland School District too. I do want to take this opportunity to say to uh, um, thank you to Bishop Samuel Green, the senior and presiding bishop of the 7th Episcopal District of the AME Church, uh, to all the board of trustees of Allen University, along with Dr. Ernest McNeely, the president of Allen University, and the presiding elders of the AME Church, and to all of our distinguished guests and visitors, good afternoon. On behalf of the students and faculty and staff and the Board of Trustees of Richland School District 2, I am pleased to be here today as we announce some exciting news and partnerships in the area, in areas with Allen University. Joining me today, I do have several of my board members with me uh, in attendance. Uh, we have Ms. LaShonda McFadden, if Ms. Mac McFadden would raise her hand just for a point of recognition. Ms. McFadden is with us today, as well as Ms. Lindsay Agostini who serves on our, on our board as well. Um, I don't see any of our uh, other board members here, but all of the, the remaining of them do send their, um, uh, their congratulations and respects uh, to, this, uh, to this auspicious occasion. Uh, I am also pleased to have with me Ms. Jennifer Rushing um, from our Med Pro Magnet program, Ms. Rushing, and Barbara Turner, Ms. Barbara Turner, our Director of Magnet Programs, and Dr. Otasha Morgan, who's our lead school counselor and the head of our mentoring initiatives who's sitting back here in the back. Thank you all for joining uh, me this afternoon and representing our district well. Dr. McNeely, we all share in your vision to develop a relationship that is truly for the greater good of all students. I apologize, this is sticking. For the all, at Richland 2, we strive to be the premier school district committed to creating an equitable and engaging culture where all are afforded the opportunity to maximize their gifts and talents as they pursue their unique pathways to purpose. As our team has met with the Allen University leadership team to work through the details of this new partnership, it has been evident that you too share a similar vision for your students and for your staff. One of the first things that we look forward to in, the new, in this newly established relationship is the opportunity for 20 of our STEAM Med Pro Magnet students to participate in a free summer STEM camp led by Allen University biology and chemistry professors this June. We know that our students will grow tremendously as they experience working in a university lab setting. We're also excited, too, that the summer camp opportunities for our students will continue to grow and expand over the coming years. As we move into the next school year and things open up from COVID, we look forward to welcoming Allen students, faculty and staff to our list of ongoing guest speakers, readers, special guests, as, as well as special guests in our classrooms. We're making plans to offer interested students a visit to this historic campus where all students will be available to answer their questions about what it is like to step into, step into a university classroom, what dorm life holds for them, and to hear about the best ways to get involved on a college campus and be active college students. One of our key initiatives at Richland 2 is a focus on mentoring. And in fact, we have a goal of providing 1,000 mentors to students over the next five years. We are so appreciative of your offer to send representatives from all levels of Allen University to, to participate in our ongoing mentoring programs. And just to close, I would like to share that in order for us to have well, strong partnerships, 
create strong communities. And in our school district, we have five principal practices that we like to implement whenever we take on a task or a project and to consider that task or project worthy. One of those principles is being innovative in our approach to doing things differently. We also look to be data informed before we make decisions. How is this going to impact us? What does the data tell us about the needs for initiatives such as this? We want to practice diversity and we want to be inclusionary in our practices. We want to make sure that we establish great communication and most importantly we want to make sure that we provide partnerships and have reciprocal high quality partnerships in our district. So we're very selective in the partnerships that we take on. These five principal practices are supported by our, our core values of learning, character, community, and joy. And they help us to achieve our three universal goals, which is a strong culture and environment, to attract, develop, and retain the best talent possible, and to be achievement oriented. When those five principal practices, those four universal goals, and the, the, those four core values and those three universal goals are all accomplished in one thing, that's what we call the sweet spot, and that's when we know we're being premiered. I think this is an example of being in the sweet spot and being premier. And so we are so enthusiastic about what, what the future holds for this partnership and we look forward to a long and prosperous union. Thank you so much. Since assuming the presidency at Allen, the university has experienced ab abundant growth. Though once a prodigal artist, his interests and expertise are in accreditation, financial modeling, and organizational psychology. A champion of research and STEM, Dr. Ernest McNeely fosters an environment of imagination and discovery for students and faculty alike. Let us welcome Allen University's esteemed president, Pre President Ernest McNeely. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you so very much for being here with us this afternoon. Uh, I would again like to, to recognize the presence of the Chairman of the Board, uh, Bishop Green, and I think we also had a member of the Board, Dr. Richburg, to join us. And of course, uh, you've met my uh, esteemed partner, Dr. Ernestine. Let me say that I'm really, really pleased with the work and the energy of the Institutional Advancement uh, Division led by Mr. Taylor in traveling places where I uh, am unable to travel. And uh, I did decide to forgive them all for scheduling this program at a time when people in my generation typically will take a nap, whether they intend it or not. <laughs> you should know that I am a devout believer in public education. More than any other facet of our society, whether you're talking about democratic principles, the belief in capitalism, or being Christians, education has been the tool that has been used uh, all the way back to the 1600s to drive our interest in Christianity, to drive our need for an educated population, and to inculcate principles of democracy for every wave of immigrants that came to our country. It is public education, ladies and gentlemen, not capitalism, not militarism, that brought our country to the place that it is uh, today. If you doubt the veracity of what I'm saying, certainly all of you will recall the extreme lengths that were once gone to in this country to preclude African Americans from learning to read, to undereducate African Americans. 
that effort obviously gives testimony to the power of education. And so, without question, at every turn, we have watched as teachers, as principals, and as superintendents have kept their shoulders to the wheel to drive whatever interest our country might have been trying to address forward. And certainly for persons like myself and for the majority of the students that we serve, uh, it was the vehicle out of abject poverty. Public education is powerful and we all have an obligation uh, to support it. And so this collaboration is a manifestation uh, of those beliefs and our faculty and our staff uh, will lend their time and talent uh, to serving not only their own interests, uh, but the interests of Richland too. And more importantly, we will invest the capital necessary for this program to succeed. The investment in equipment and uh, materials uh, to run a science cap not for college level students but for high school students. The cost of a person on the campus who will coordinate all of the various activities that will transpire the transportation that will be necessary to move our basketball team from the campus to whatever location Richland 2 has decided they would like to have them visit. We will invest what is necessary to make certain that this program is a success. And I'm going to ask Dr. Davis to, to come forward as we get ready to to sign the MOU and I want you to understand that we are doing this publicly uh, to symbolize that all that can be imagined can be achieved when organizations collaborate in the interest of the public good. So. I have been involved in leadership activities for, um, for a little while at least, um, and I'm always very pleased to see um, young African American men do the hard work required to make our country better. As a matter of fact, you should know that the two professors uh, who will be teaching uh, our summer program are both African-American males with PhDs less than 35 years old. So in recognition of the work that Dr. Davis has been doing, I have uh, a special token of appreciation to provide him. Leadership is challenging. It is an art and a science. And 
Interestingly, quite often, those who are tr troublesome to the leader are simply being themselves, as is evident in the gift that I'm about to give him. The art and science of leadership. Uh, it is an artistic treatment of a cartoon that has been in the public domain for decades. And as Noah attempts to get all living matter safely to the shore, there is a woodpecker who is making the ark less safe. And as you can see, Noah is busily trying to rein the, the, the woodpecker in uh, without having to control the thing. The art and science of leadership. I wanted to, uh, again, thank President McNeely for this, this awesome painting uh, or uh, picture. I, I, I got the meaning fairly quickly <laughs> on what it's truly like. But I wanted to extend an opportunity for the members of my staff and my school board that are here because the work that we do is a team effort. And so I don't want to accept any recognition uh, without giving them an opportunity to accept it with me. So if you wouldn't mind quickly sharing this moment with me and we'll take a photo and then we'll be done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our program. At this time, we'll have um, Mr. Doug Taylor, the Vice President for Institutional Advancement, call for question and answer. Let's invite um, Reverend up for benediction uh, first. Then we we're going to have a brief Q&A session. Will you stand to receive the benediction, please? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, along with the love of God, the richness of his Holy Spirit, will abide with you, will keep you, will protect you forever and ever and forever. Amen. Hey, we have a couple of minutes available left. Um, as you can imagine, we have a tight schedule. We want to open the floor if you have any questions that you would like to ask specifically as it relates to this uh, partnership. Any questions? Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you.